This farmer's truck is covered in rocks, hay, and sand. Here's how Reese from Satisfying Clean details filthy vehicles to look brand new. The first step is to clear any garbage in the interior. Reese removes hay by hand because it's faster than using a vacuum. Next, he removes the floor mats so he can access all the sand and dirt underneath. Reese starts from the top of the vehicle first so that all the sand falls to the floor. This is the best way to avoid double cleaning. A special wet and dry detailing vacuum is used to remove dirt, sand, and debris. Vacuuming the floors takes the longest, but has the biggest payoff. It's important to vacuum those hard to reach areas to try to get as much dirt and sand out of the interior as possible before moving on to the next step. After dry vacuuming, Reese sprays an all-purpose cleaner on the pedals and uses a fingernail brush to scrub off the dirt. Next, the floor and carpets are sprayed. Reese uses a drill brush to agitate the floor. This releases the dirt so that it can be easily vacuumed up. It's important to always spray the interior first so that the drill brush doesn't damage any surfaces. To finish cleaning the floors, the remainder of the dirt is vacuumed up. This process is repeated throughout the vehicle on different surfaces. For smaller areas, a detailing brush is used to remove dirt. To finish the process, Reese sprays a polish on all the interior plastics and wipes it away to reveal a bright, shiny finish. The process can take anywhere from two to four hours, but farmers are always pleased with the transformation.